we are going to make another Christmas card and this time the card is made from my sketch pad so I'm going to make it as it is and uh, I've already <clears throat> pre-cut a couple of things so this is uh, a doily that I've already cut out and this doily is from Stampin' Up uh, it's called Large Delicate Doilies so it comes three and I'm using this the biggest one and I've already pre-cut some some of the scraps so basically today's Christmas card is made of scraps because <laughs> I need to use them my Christmas tree is going to be this one and it's a Christmas stamp set that I like as you can see it's already green because I use it so many times but it's really really cool and this is the Christmas tree we're going to use today so I'm going to put this one on the side because we don't need it I've got my heat tool already here <clears throat> and uh, what we're going to do is this is my scrap piece of paper well not so much scrap but I need to do it and I'm going to be using evergreen embossing powder I believe this is from Ranger so yeah this is the one we're going to use and Versa Fine Champagne and I need a couple of those Christmas trees so it's not going to be easy because I'm going to stamp on this piece of paper a few of them okay <clears throat> okay so I'm going to use some of it okay so this one is going to go all over here <clears throat> that's one and I'm going to cut them out so I don't really worry about them being perfect and this is going to be another one and I need another one as well all the way over here perfect <clears throat> I'm going to hit emboss a few of them because the best results you've got when you have all of it don't worry I'm going to use quite a lot of this green but it's going to go all the way to the pot yeah okay and now I can see because it's champagne and because I used this <clears throat> stamp before I can see some shadows on my card I don't know if you can see it but I can see this one and this one Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not worried about extra bits because like I said before I'm going to cut it out so it's not going to stay on this piece of paper I just needed some space okay now this one this is the last one <coughs> I love heat embossing heat embossing is cool okay Perfect. Do I need some more? No. So for this, today's card, we are going to use only one Christmas tree. <coughs> Sorry guys for my voice. It's been so much outside going on. So many changes of temperature and my throat is just killing me. Okay, so goes back in a pot twist it because I'm very clumsy and now let's do the magic okay I will tidy up a little bit some people use brushes some people use everything but I'm usually okay ready shall I give you some close-up That's one.
Okay. Perfect. So, now before I cut it out, I need to make sure they all dry. Uh -huh, and there's no... So gently I'm going to rub it off. If there's any residue or if there's any heat embossing powder left over, I love when it changes, guys. I absolutely love it. Super. It changes so nice. Okay, so now... I'm going to choose one of them. I'll show you later what I did with this card. So we're going to create more of these Christmas cards with this, with those Christmas <clears throat> trees. But now I'm going to fussy cut the my Christmas tree. Okay, okay, almost done. So, mm -hmm. perfect. Now, this goes to thin, and this <coughs> is going to go all the way over here. So, now we can assemble our card. Oh, where's my 3D phone? Over here. Now we can start assembling my card. <coughs> so this is... <coughs> excuse me, guys. The change of temperature is re really annoying me. So I've cut um, a couple of pieces of paper. <coughs> Decided it's going to be red and green. And this is how it's going to go. So this one goes here. This one goes here, this one goes here, and this one goes here, yeah. And I'm not going to use my favorite double-sided tape because my tape is not going to do the work. And now, to make sure that I know what I'm doing and how much I want to do, so how I do the banners, because obviously I'm going to have banners. I haven't even decided yet if the banners are going to be the same size or a different length. Yeah, I'm just going to cut them out. Yeah. So I'm just going to decide as I go along. Sometimes I do have the Stampin' Up. I believe Stampin' Up used to did um, uh, a punch. And I believe I still have the punch, but I prefer. I know roughly what I want to cut. So there's a little line over here. And I usually just cut it to this line. You can draw it on your scissors if you want exactly, but I don't bother. So you gotta do this line in the middle and then sides. Yeah, and then if you do sides, then you've got your banner. Sometimes, because at the moment I think I've just <clears throat> do it. Now this one again. Here you go, middle and middle. <coughs> and I've got my banners. So this goes on the side. I can organize my banners. And the card size is five and a half by four and a half. Now I'm going to use a glue <coughs> and I'm going to start from the edges because then you're going to have equal spaces. I'll show you how. With the glue, you've got some uh, some movement. Yeah. Okay, okay. So that's why I don't use the double-sided tape because I would like to have some space for movement. Okay, okay. So this one is done. <clears throat> And those two are done. Now I can organize those two. The next step is the middle part. So I put the middle part. So it's just roughly in the middle. Yeah. 
and now those two this is just information what kind of paper is that and these are my scraps so you can use any scraps you want i've just used uh, red and some pattern papers because i had red and i decided oh yeah let's do this card okay but you can use any and now you can arrange your things i've had also these two pieces of green and i'm going to put this green as well these are scraps too so and i'm going to put it all the way across i think this one is a little bit too big but that's all i can cut it mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I'm going to post some links and I'm going to put some information how you can use your scraps so if you have any leftovers even those lines like that how you can reuse them and now this is my favorite part so now I can use my tape yeah and this is my banner it's going to be white love it white white is cool and i'm going to put some tape i love my tape so this is the tape that i started using with my videos and i want to see if it's going to last for all 14 cards that i'm supposed to do and how long it's going to take for me to stop using it yeah okay so three pieces Okay. If you want, you can always decorate the panel. But I don't want to. And this is going to go all the way over here. And I found some twine. Obviously some leftovers again. And all I want to do is just have a piece of it. And put it all the way behind here. I just want to add extra decorations. So I'm going to wrap it out. How many? Three fingers? Yeah. Let's do three fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going to go together. There you go. And now this is going to be okay. So my Christmas tree needs to have a space at the back. So I have to add some 3D form all the way at the back. This one <clears throat> and another one. One little one on the top. And the other way around because one is fat, one is one side is bigger than the other one. Okay? Yeah. Now I'm going to get some mini glue dots and I'm going to arrange this lovely circle pattern in a very messy way because I would like it to be a little bit messy. So it goes this way. So it goes around that side. Yeah. Let me have a look. Oh, maybe too much maybe it's too much five times it's too much maybe i need to do a little bit less one two three mm -hmm. just chop it i'm just going to chop it why not just chop it all you gotta do is chop it well mm -hmm. this way and i want to have it this way Perfect. This is the way I want it. So now all I gotta do is just put some glue dots in the middle. Just some glue dots. Okay. So it sticks. Okay. Just going to wrap it around. 
Spin around. Spin around. So, I'm not perfect with it, guys, so don't get me wrong. I am not very perfect with it. I'm just going to decide as I go along which way I want to do it. And how I want to do it. Perfect. And now <coughs> the Christmas tree is going to cover those dots. Because obviously we need to cover those dots. There you go. Now this is my Christmas tree covering those dots. Mm -hmm. Now, so since I have all my stuff, now for the sentiment, I'm going to use a Happy Christmas. It's one of the pattern papers. I'm going to use a Versafine black and I'm going to stamp all the way over here. Okay, now it's great. I'm going to cut it a little bit bigger than I need to. Only because I'm going to chop it and it's going to go at the angle. So it's going to go all the way over here. That's how I would like to be. Now, I've got my chopper. Yeah. I should have a smaller one, but I don't even know. I think the kids were playing with it last time. Okay, so what you gotta do is just, I know that this corner at the bottom was already straight, so I'm just going to chop those bits. <clears throat> and now what I'm going to do is just cut it at the angle, because I would like to have it at the angle, very close. To the sign and this is the sign that I would like to have it over here happy Christmas where's my glue this is my glue perfect so that's my glue it goes all the way at the back over here <clears throat> so you can't notice too much mm -hmm. those little scraps now, I like to reuse and recycle. Now, this is the card. This is the finished card for today. What do you think, guys? I think it looks gorgeous. I love it. It's really nice. It's really pretty. Very quick. And you actually are using your scraps. And this is shiny. When you hit and boss something, it's really shiny. You can't see too much. Now, those scraps, if you open it up, and some of the scraps are pretty pretty you can arrange them and what you can do is just decorate the inside of the card so you've got enough cards to make it beautiful yeah and what you're gonna do is just put a little dot of glue and put it over here and that makes a huge statement and the card looks very professional the card looks really pretty inside and outside and then you can <coughs> <coughs> sorry guys the heating is on and it's too dry for me sometimes okay and now this one goes here and this one goes all the way on the other side well I've chose to have two corners the same and two corners different but you can choose whatever you desire we've got some more triangles so you can either put them over here put them over here you can even decorate more or whatever you desire but this is this is the end of the card this is what I decided to do today and this is another card from my Christmas Christmas selection for this year I hope you like it guys I hope you enjoy it look at this it's very very pretty and it's super easy thank you so much for watching I hope to see you next time bye